Hello and welcome. My name is Sharon and this is Trio of Witches Tarot. This is my November 2023 massive haul video because a ton of Kickstarters and pre-orders came in and then I was going through an interview process to find a new job and every step of the way I rewarded myself with a deck. And there was five interviews. So Let's just get to it, and I'm sure the title will of this video will say how many decks there were, because I don't know right now. It's here, it's here, it's here! Finally! Yay! So I missed out on the first edition of this deck, but I made sure I got the recent Kickstarter. So what do we have in here? I even like this card. So, it's Comfrey. Um, Lam Asu. A Tropis. Celine. And Soul Invictus. Very cool. And then special scent. Oak moss, tobacco, violet leaf, juniper, patchouli, pinion pine, eucalyptus, bergamot, coconut oil. Oh, it smells so good. Very nice box, just like the Crimson Asteria is. backs are very similar to Crimson Hysteria, only we're black and gold instead of red and gold. And it is chunky monster, but that's because there are 105 cards, 20, so there's 27 extra cards in it. Yeah, oh, well, that's very small. It's a fair amount of info on each one. It's unfortunately incredibly small though. But that's okay. It's nice. Feels nice. Quick note on the guidebook. I reached out to the creator Amanda Spicer um, through the Kickstarter campaign and there will be a PDF version of this guidebook available. I seriously can barely read this so the PDF will be much appreciated. I just love this borderless. So cute. So now I want to see what oracles I have to go with this. Okay, so this is the Seasons of the Witch and I mixed my Sullen and Mavon together. And I think I like it. And I've been waiting until I get, I got the Solara Occulta before I got the deck that I think is really gonna go well with it, which is the, um, Oh, it's the French one. Medieval. Um, oh, I, I, I will put the name somewhere. I think it works. I think that other one is going to really work. But I like this. I think these work together well. I like it. So I have two more. Okay, so this is the Wild Mystic Oracle card deck, and it's a mass market deck. And I wrote the numbers on it because the guidebook is not in alphabetical order. And I like this. I like this a lot. I might hold off on getting that other deck for a little bit. Because I haven't I haven't found much that I pair this with, but I like it with this. 
So I'm going to work with this for a while before I jump and get another deck. Okay, I think that works. Play with the Six of Cups. Okay, so let's try one more. So this one is The Flowers of the Night Oracle by Sherilyn Darcy. I like that. And this one I pair with a lot of decks. Really goes nice with the Intuitive Night Goddess also. I like this. Brings a little bit of color to it. The uh, Seasons of the Witch did too, but this one I think does a little bit more. Or maybe the color just pops a little more because of the black background. Okay, I like this also. All right, well it is Thursday, November 16th, and two more decks arrived. It's another Tarot de Marseille, or my Marseille study, and this deck to go with the Solara Occulto. It is French, obviously, and I think I saw this on the Waves of Your Soul first. Let's zoom in. But we shall see how that looks. Stuck together a little bit. It has this little guidebook and there's not too much on each card, so this will be easy to use um, Google Translate on my phone with. Okay, well, since I got the Medieval and Marvelous Oracle, I thought we should try it with the Solara Occulta. And I'm glad I got it because I think it's just quirky enough to work with it. And not too busy, doesn't fight it. It just has the, sim the single keyword. for the most part is not that hard to translate from the French. Yes, it works. Now I liked the other oracles too. And in some instances I will use them instead of this. But I, this is just, it has unicorns in it, first of all. And I just like it. Anyway, so this is a deck I backed a long time ago, and it um, took a while. The One of the creators became ill, and so as things go with Kickstarters, sometimes they take a while. Bubble wrap. Remember when you were a kid and you loved popping it? This one doesn't pop very well. There we go. So fun. I got the guidebook, which was additional. The book will arrive in a separate package. Well, I have decided, since I can't figure out when the book is going to arrive, that I'm going to go ahead and open this and have a look at the deck. Well, like a very nice box. Yeah, it's very soft. Ooh, I like it when they fold out all the way like that. Like, ooh, love the backs so much. Gilded, gold, kind of sparkly. I don't know if the camera is going to pick that up. 
And it feels like make playing cards smooth. This works and it is very, it's a very durable cardstock, so totally fine. So let's see what we got here. Well, it just dives right in, doesn't it? Starts with cups. Nice big font, easy to read. Hmm. Okay. So then ones and then pentacles and the majors are in the back. So let's see what it says about the fool and how it relates at all to the image we're looking at. Okay, so it doesn't really talk about this image at all, which is what the other, the bigger guidebook is for, I believe. So, kind of a standard little white book, only bigger. And I'm going to go see what I have to pair with this and do some quick pairings. Okay, I found several oracles I want to try with it. The first one is just the Soul Trees, the regular. Soul Trees is such a great all-arounder oracle. Yes. really well because of course it does it's soul trees yeah definitely we'll be using these together Okay, let's see how Song of the Grandmothers goes with it. Kind of sing together, and I feel like these two. I wish I had the bigger book so I knew the stories behind these cards. Like that strength with the dragon. Ooh, something about that I really like. This is a very nice pairing as well. Wasn't sure. But it is very nice. Ooh, look at that death card. Try something else. Yeah, let's see how it works with the language of flowers. I think this works also. This works very nicely. So let's see how it looks with the morning calm. It's different cultures, yes, but 
that does not negate that they will work well together. I think it works. Oh, look at that. So beautiful. Really liking this deck. really like the morning calm. I feel like I don't use it enough. Yes, I think these work really, really well together. So that was morning calm. And today is November 13th. And I got four packages today for my Mega Haul November unboxing video. And the first one I'm going to open is the Terra Volatile. And I did order the book recently and it did come with two extra cards for the linen edition, which was another factor. There's an alternate death and I forget the other card. Pretty sure there was two cards. I'd have to pull that out. So here is my heavy edition like that and another reason the uh, love these clamshell boxes great comparison so this is the linen is darker this is definitely brighter I might prefer the the brightness of the heavy one on that card and same with this might prefer the brightness It's definitely much darker. And again, it's just lighter, brighter, which I'm going to admit I sort of prefer. I definitely prefer how much more blue this is. Hmm. Interesting. Wow. I'm not in love with how dark these are. Okay, so I'm going to stop here because this is taking too long and there's going to be a whole separate video for this. I think I saw this on um, Astro Lady Tarot's channel. She didn't show the whole deck, at least not in the video I saw. She showed basically one card <laughs> and I fell in love with that card. I love this artwork. Yeah, the Hermit. That's the one. And so, because I'll be doing my Marseille study, um, it's Marseille, so I don't imagine that this contains much more information than already exists on any given card, but, and Google Translate is always there. So let's have a look. So it's a little bit glossy. It has a big black border. Oh, those are the backs. Yes, pretty backs. Oh, 
I don't love the black border. And they do have different skin tones in it. So I'm not going to go crazy right away and trim it, but I will probably end up trimming it. Marseille is smaller anyway, and this feels this feels like regular tarot size, so having it be smaller would be okay. I love this hermit. Oh, love that. That's cool. And he has the Hebrew letter on him there. I don't know, is that normally on a Marseille deck? I don't think I've ever noticed that they have the... Do they all have the Hebrew letters? Oh, they do. Yeah, they do. I don't think that's normally on TDM. It's hers right by her boob. Okay, interesting. She looks pregnant. I like how the stars are different colors. Let's find a red hand. And it's regular Marseille pips. Let's get to the quartz and see what they look like. Okay, so no title. I think it's fairly obvious. Interesting. That's, that's pretty with a lotus. And then Paige looks much more feminine with the roses. This wasn't expensive, I'm thinking. It was around 25 euros. Well, that is that. You can get it on Amazon.fr. And I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this correctly, but I believe this is my Bo Boadicea's. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. They have videos, which I haven't watched yet. I've been waiting for the deck. And I'm sure they will be pronouncing it in those videos. It's close to the camera, isn't it? It's a lot of extras. So I got the bag, which hmm, open bag. Is big and not sure what the intention here is. If I have to cut that off, the intention is that you can store whatever is in this box in there. I like the bag, so even though it seems big, I will use it for something else, probably. There's yet to be seen. There's some stickers, I believe. I think I paid extra for these stickers, but I can't remember. I don't think maybe they came with. I know I paid extra for the bag. Maybe the stickers came with. Cool, very cool. And this, I think the reading block came with. It's 
hard to keep track of actually. cloth was a and it's nice it's he this heavier fabric I don't like the ones that are like really silky flimsy because you can't really use them they move around too much and I like this this appeals to me that is just I watched the I think they were doing an Instagram and it's, it was just so beautiful wow that's Oh, those are big cards. So it talks about the symbols. A reversed meaning. So not a ton on the cards. Much more on the majors, as is standard often. Oh yes, and they did rename suits, I think. Okay, so let's compare it first to regular tarot size. Do you have the tarot volatile handy? It's almost, it's, it's basically oracle size. And I could probably do without these borders. And because I can't help myself, I'm constantly trimming, I may trim off some of this border. I don't think I'll trim off the title part. I like to keep the backs symmetrical. When they... So they're fairly thin, which I think... I don't know if they have a core or not. It doesn't feel core-ish. I um, think that's going to make it so you could, if, oh my heck, they're so big. If you could get your hand, yeah, you could bend them if you could get your hand around it. I'm not gonna lie that I wouldn't have preferred if the titles were closer without this space and without this big border and linen. I would have preferred all of that. Like her. It feels sort of serpent and peacock in a way. For this, it is, so let's see. We have, okay, it's color coded. So we have red for the majors, combustion for wands, okay, and yellow. Tentacles for cups, I'm going to guess, and blue, more of a teal. Ether for swords. Interesting, and more of a blue, blue, true blue. And then fungi for pentacles. And then an extra card, it looks like. So this is making me think of a couple decks that I'm going to try with this. The, the fungi is making me particularly think of a specific oracle deck. If you know my decks, you may be able to guess. Okay, so I trimmed it. I decided I was keeping it and it was far too big and floopy and slippery to be reasonable to deal with without trimming it. So the first deck, hopefully you guessed it, was the Mushroom Oracle. And I think this is gonna be great with this. And this deck, as I went through and trimmed it, really started to feel like it is um, the Serpent and the Peacock meets the Victorian Romantic. Okay, so this is already a fantastic pairing. And those backs. I just love those backs. Yes, if 
Very, very nice. And I will be doing a more thorough walkthrough of all of the decks in the future. I am kind of over people renaming suits and renaming court cards and renaming anything. It's just too mentally exhausting. But this deck is so pretty that I will forgive it. So the other deck I'm going to try with it is the other deck by the same Broccoli Mag people. And it is the Seashell Oracle. And I think it goes equally well in a different way. like the mushroom one just a smidge more but it's hard to say just from this quick quick sampling a much anticipated and long awaited okay oh. there's some extra cards are the extra large size ones and I got both editions of it so Is a typical Baba book. Love the Baba books. And I ordered a couple of bags because I love their bags. And not necessarily to keep these stuck in, but this is the regular sized one. this little white book. Definitely makes it very iridescent, doesn't it? Okay, so let's open up the big one. You may have to zoom out. Okay, so different covers on the boxes. comes with its own bag. Oh, different backs. Very cool backs. Very cool indeed. Like those. Do not know how one is to use this deck this large. I think I'm not going to unwrap it in case for any reason. I decide that I'm not going to keep the large. Okay, so let's do some quick pairings. I'm going to start with the Flowers of the Night Oracle. Okay, I think this is working. I think I like this deck with it. Okay, let's try another one. So let's try the Oracle of Awakening. Hmm, I like that.
Rebirth with Judgment. That's kind of cool. Okay, I'm going to have to withhold Judgment until I see this when I'm editing. But I think it works. So let's try something else. So let's try the Mushroom Oracle. And I don't hate this. This is kind of cool. It's kind of hard for me to tell aesthetically from the angle I'm at because of the cold foil stamping. I think I like this one. So that's the Mushroom Oracle. So let's try the Seasons of the Witch Sawin. I think I like this. At first with this, I held off for so long just because of all the text on it. I don't usually like oracles like that, but it came around. I like this. I think this works. So I thought it'd be fun to try it with the cosmic reading cards. It's not a deck I use a whole lot, but at least aesthetically, I think going to work with this. And I think this is one of those instances where this deck actually works. Which on the surface I would not have thought. people I tend not to use the guidebook of an oracle deck and that's why I want one that has like really good keywords right on the cards and imagery that goes along with that. I like this. I think that works. Okay I have one left. Now we're going to try Oracle of Along Now, which is a photographic collage deck by Ashley Cook. And I don't know, this could be a big mess, big hit, but I think, I think I like it. And if you have any decks that you pair with this, the Bohemian Gothic, I'd like an animal deck. I mean, I had the Flowers of the Night, which has animals in it, but I don't know. If, I don't know if I have the perfect deck. But these all work, I think. Until I find something that becomes the bonded pair. Okay. Okay, well, today is Tuesday, the 14th of November, and another deck arrived. And I really want to get into 
Marseille this year, and I know this is not a a Marseille deck proper. I'm sure you've seen this before. Lots of walkthroughs of this in the past. Okay, so one side is French, and one side is English. Anyway, nice mass market cardstock. Feels kind of, sort of like, maybe not quite as um, thick as. Um, US games, but it did, when I was just bending it, it did sort of take that bend already, didn't it? Interesting. Yeah. The Sun and the Marseille is never one of my favorite Sun cards. I like the Sun. The Marseille Sun. So this is very fun. I like this style applied to the RWS, basically. I'm starting to feel like the uh, Zammer Twins might be fun with this. So we'll see about some pairings. Okay, since I mentioned the Zammer Twins, let's try it. Kind of works. Mm. Don't know. I don't think so, though. Xamar Twins is kind of bonded to the Serpent and the Peacock. It works-ish. I'm not going to say it's a total flop, but I don't love it. Let's try something else. So I know this might seem like a weird one, but when I was looking through my binder, it just kind of struck me as maybe it would work. And every time I sing Cordyceps, The Last of Us, it's all I can think. Mm, I, you know, I don't hate it. I like it better than I liked the Zammer Twins, for sure. I kind of like this. I don't know, it's... I can't put my finger on why I like it, but I do. Maybe it's the more muted tones. No, I like it though. Huh. Okay, let's try something else. Let's try Seasons of the Witch Mabon Oracle. It's another one when I was looking through the binder. I was like, hmm. Again, maybe it's the more muted tones. I think I like this. Dude, these Seasons of the Witch decks, they it took a long time to come around on them. But I really like them now. I have four of them. I have to let Solon, Mabon, Yule, and Amalk. Yes. I like these together. I do like these together. Okay. Nice. And the last one I want to try is the Messenger Cards by Sandra Kuntz and I think I saw something a while back that she was working on another deck, but I haven't seen anything since then. Anyway, I think so far I like this also.
Mm. Really like that one with it. Yeah. I'm thinking that the Seasons of the Witch worked the best. But I do like this. I think I would if I wanted to add, you know, animal guide message that I would use this with it. Okay, that's all my pairings for the Tarot de Marseille weight. Okay, well, another deck arrived today. It's Thursday the 16th of November of my Tarot, November Tarot haul. And this one is a Marseille because I want to learn Marseille this year. And this one is by... That's cool. Okay. Eugene Vinitsky and Elsa. Yes, I cannot say that. But it's from Terromania. So it has this... One of the reasons it appealed to me is it had this cool guidebook. And it is... Do I remember correctly? Yes. It is fully illustrated pips, but they're illustrated not in the Golden Dawn tradition, but along with the meaning, the, the Tarot de Marseille meaning. So it is in this, one of these nice uh, clamshell magnetic boxes. Very nice box. Very nice. Those are the backs. They're so pretty. It's so pretty. It's very nice matte cardstock. Very nice. Let's see, does it, it clumps just a tiny bit? I think that will go away over time. So you can go, these are your traditional majors for a Marseille. So we're just gonna go through those real fast, not looking at all of them. Traditional ace. Okay, so they're organized. Aces first. Okay, traditional aces. And then see here. And the twos. We have fully illustrated, which I really think is going to help me. Let's look in the book real quick for the two of coins. Two of coins. And it's like a little story. A certain alchemist wished to create a living plant from the light of the stars in a lump of earth. He spent a long time mixing the mysterious tinctures and looking for the right proportions. For decades, this man was conducting experiments, combining spiritual substance with matter. He became lonely and unsociable. Some people laughed at him and others had faith in his experiments. But all of them lived their lives, often without giving much thought to the miracle of creation. One day, pouring starlight from one vessel into another, which contained a piece of soil, for the thousandth time he was able to create a seed from which a flower began to timidly sprout. This is how patience, knowledge, and faith in the transformation of matter bring forth the miracle and spiritualization of new forms of life. The card combines the values of the Pope S. Trump number two, the numerology of the number two, and the value of the coin suit. General meaning. Complex ideas that can be implemented on spiritual soil, temporarily open, different and unusual opportunities, the purity and passivity of the source material, the basics and the activity of external influences on them. Interested. Oh, more. Okay. So that is a lot. If you hear that in the background, that is my dog very upset at squirrels. They are getting our acorns from our oak tree. She does not like it. So, wow, that is a lot. Unexpected amount of detail for the Minor Arcana, which I am so excited about. So you can look at this a little bit more. Just gonna grab clumps. Yeah, I'm really liking this. 
So typical quartz for Marseille. Okay, so today is Saturday, November 18th, and this arrived. And it is the new deck by Robert M. Place, the first occult tarot. I'm very excited for this. I love his decks. Okay, let's have a look. in the same kind of cloth box. Kind of the drawer like, like that. Very pretty blue. That's really pretty blue. Oh, my cat has decided that this is the best place in the house to sleep because it is right by a south-facing window. And there's this wonderful pad out for him. Oh, it's even signed. This is the backs. Very cool. Kind of Egyptian stuff. I'm not really into the whole Egyptian thing, but that's okay. It's fun. So, interesting. Okay, so we're starting with the universe. Creation, I'm going to guess, is judgment. So they're not numbered. And then the sun. And the moon. The star. Okay, so this one is the yes. Adam and Eve being expelled from the Garden of Eden. So not necessarily all Egyptian. Love that death card. Love it. fairly clear. And Jupiter. Jupiter is a hierophant. Hmm. Yeah, see, that one would be a stretch for me. I'd have to think about that. King is the emperor, the queen. Juno. This feels like a, a Minkiati a little bit, because they have Jupiter and Juno in that, right? I have a Minkiati, but I haven't really studied it yet. So that's the High Priestess. And the Mount Bank. Is that also in the Minkiati? And the Fool. And then these are more pippish. Which is fine because I plan on studying Marseille in 2024. And um, Sadhana at Integrative Healing is going to be doing mostly, almost all, Marseille as well. So I'm going to be following along with her. And I will share a link down below to a play, a, any playlists that I'm watching now. So this is interesting. This is not unlike... So I'm doing this instead of pairings, I think, is what's happening here. Um, the pips are not entirely dissimilar to... I feel like the wands are more illustrated. A little... Huh. Interesting. Which one was that? The five. It's a stork with a baby. Huh.
interesting. Very interesting. And as far as cardstock, it's it feels the texture feels the same as like the sevenfold mystery, but it's much more bendy. Might be closer to um, it is the regular seat. tarot of the Holy Spectrum. I have so I have the Infinity Edition. And I love it. I wish the devil card from this deck was in that deck. So edged in black. There's black and white with a touch of color. And this one, I find that hard to see, that outline. Actually, like the Empress, though. It's the same deck, it's just different coloration, really. And then the Devil card. Like the Death in, in both of them. And this is Soul Tree's Ascension. I really like that. Yes, I really like this. I really like those together. I really like those together. Yes, I really like this. Soul Trees Ascension. Both of the Soul Trees. I don't have the Soul Seeds because I have both Soul Trees. I kind of feel like that's enough Soul things. Oh. Just, this is really works really well with this deck. Wow. Kind of blown away. The purple on this side. Okay, yeah. And this is connected and free. I think this is going to go really well. Yes, like that. slow down in the chariot. And this also really works well. Yes. It's minimal like this one is. The Holy Spectrum. Like those together. Yeah, so I like these together. step and death. Hmm. Okay, so that was connected and free. And the last one is Flowers of the Night. really works well. Interesting celebration with the tower. <laughs> wow, those two together. This deck definitely mirrors how the uh, majors in this deck are. Yeah, this works really, really well. Really, really nicely. Angel's Trumpet and Transformation with the 
Awakening, which is the Judgment card. And Hope in the World. And the Ten of Wands. Hmm. Okay, yes, that works. Okay, so that works. This package is a deck I traded for. Oh, how nice. Little gifts and everything. So, I traded for, oh how sweet, a nice little candle, some crystals. Very nice. That was very generous. I didn't get the Sawyer's Path, and then I was sorry I didn't, and then there was only the, this one available, and I didn't feel like paying for it, and this person was willing to trade for this, I was happy to trade. So, not so interested in the Red Sketch deck. This is an older deck, and I'm sure people have seen it. Glossier than I thought they were going to be. So originally, the reason I didn't get this is because it was a little too cartoony for me. Even though there was age diversity, I don't know, and then I decided, you know what? I actually like that deck when it was too late, because of course I did. So, I have to see what pairs with this. Okay, so I think I found a few to try with Sawyer's Path. First one's Untamed Truth. I think this works. Gives it a little edge, I feel like. Which I kind of feel like it needs. It's a very happy deck. Not a bad thing. I like this. Okay, let's see what else we got. Okay, so given the art style, I thought let's try the Sour Howard. Yes, I think that works. Kind of doubles down on the style, which I don't often do. In this case, I like it. Yes. Yeah, I like this. one I have is the Soul Trees Oracle Cards. This is the regular edition, not the Ascension. And yes, if I could only have two Oracle decks, it would be both of the Soul Trees, I think. Be hard pressed. Might be soul trees and rids and wings. Anyway, this is very nice. Like this a lot. Very much. 
such, indeed. Yes. Okay, that's it for the Sawyer's Path. And another deck I got in the month of November, but totally screwed up the unboxing video of, is the Dark Mansion Tarot. And I got the, it's the UV coating, so it's not the rose petal. It's got the gold. I don't like the backs as well. I wish I had, this had the black backs with the clouds and all. That's really cool. But it's not just about the backs, so it's not, it's mostly not about the backs. Anyway, going to do some pairings with this. Okay, and I only have a couple, but I'm going to start with Secrets of Wandwood. And I think this is super fun. This is another just fun deck. It's still tarot, but it's more for fun. Sometimes you just want to have fun. And I think these are good together. Like it. Put those together. Yeah, I like this. Let's see what else I got. Okay, and Flowers of the Night is making another appearance. And I like this. It's nice to have oracles that go with so many things. So I don't really use oracle on its own. Sometimes I like to use more than one oracle with a deck, so it would be fun to... It's nice that there's more than one that goes with any one tarot, too. I like the contrast of the more realistic presentation and then this very cartoon-like artwork. Okay, that's it for Flowers of the Night. Let's try Untamed Truth. Mostly just because I recorded a previous deck with it, so I had it handy. I don't dislike this. I like it. This is also unexpected and it could be one of two things. There's two decks that I, from Amazon International that just disappeared into the ether. Oh, it is, it is, it is, it is. It is, it is, it is. Look what it is. So excited. Okay, this is going to deserve a whole video of its own, but we will do the unboxing here. And yes, it is in French. No, I do not speak French. But 
I have Google Translate and I care not. And if it ever comes out in English, that's fine. Then I'll have two copies. Okay. So as nice as this box is, I will, this will be going in storage. Did not expect this yet. Okay, let me zoom in. Okay, so we're just gonna have a quick look. So it has, that's the Tudor rose, right? Which, I don't know, does that make sense? Maybe it's not a Tudor rose. I don't know, I'll have to translate things. Very nice gilding. Very nice cardstock. It's matte, it's flexy. Could I ruffle shuffle it? Let's see. I think so, especially over time you could break that in more. I probably won't though. Okay. And I'm gonna guess this is, oh. Her name is totally eluding me. Morgan Le Fay. Yes, that's what I thought. And Grand Priestess, is she the Vivian? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then yeah, Guinevere. Okay, we're not gonna spend a ton of time on this. I will do that in another video, but I was curious. And this is just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Anaturian artwork. Okay, so very exciting, but not going to go in depth in a haul video. And I will need to find what to pair with this. Okay, so I found some decks to do some pairings with the Tarot Arthurian. And yes, my neighbor is still blowing leaves. So we're going to start with the Oracle of Echoes because that kind of feels an obvious thing to try, right? Both by Anna. And as one would expect, it goes quite well. And Oracle of Echoes is one that comes in and out. I think every six months she does a, a print run, April and something. Sign up for her mailing list. If you don't already have it. It is a good all-arounder. It goes with a lot of stuff. Okay, well, that worked as one would expect. And now we're going to try the Untamed Truth. I got this one off of Etsy. And I'm not sure, given the more modern nature of the artwork as compared to the theme of the Arthurian. I don't hate it. Don't love it, but I don't hate it. I think some of the cards work and some of the cards don't. Okay. Yeah, not as good. And this is the Enchanted Blossoms Empowerment Oracle. It's a mass market deck. And I just thought with the little baby dragons and the magical quality of it, it might be nice. I think it is. I think I like this. a little bit of a sweetness to it too. Grace with the Three of Swords and Death. Hmm. I like that. 
I think I will be using this. Let's try some of the grandmothers. This seems like an unlikely pairing, but I feel like it's going to work. There's the lower again. Don't hate it. It's kind of interesting. I feel like if I were, oh, the wave and the wave, that's cool. I feel like if I were to use this, it wouldn't be the only oracle I was using with it. And I think in general, that's how I feel about the Song of the Grandmothers. I use it more on big things, not as like a supporting oracle in the tarot reading itself, if that makes sense. Okay, so that's the Song of the Grandmothers. And the last one I want to try with, this is the Soul Tree's Ascension. This is a huge workhorse deck for me. Just goes with everything. I like the way the light is in both of those. Okay, so those were my pairings real quick for the Terry R3N. Okay, so this is the last deck I'm going to put in this video for November because I want to get this video up before Thanksgiving. And this one is another French deck. So I've seen it on um, the Wave Your Soul Marine. I'm pretty sure she has this deck. And I think this is one where I'm going to kind of want to refer to the guidebook some because the, I believe the artwork and meanings are a little bit different. But it's not, it's not so much that this seems for the most part it's not going to be that bad. So that's the guidebook. And they, oh, they come in a nice bag. So that's handy. You seem bigger than standard tarot. Maybe not. Maybe a little bit taller. Let me grab. I'm gilded and stuck together a little bit. So same width. Or same width. Just a smidge taller. Maybe see it better this way. Just a smidge. And I already think the cardstock is not awesome. It's kind of cardboardy bends, but feels like one of those ones that's gonna would take a crease pretty easily. Those are the backs. Kind of odd. Anyway, don't love the backs, but um, I don't hate them. Okay, so we're starting with the magician. So this is more of a um, the word I'm looking for. Comic style. Get these apart. I 
it almost feels like it's all a story. I forget what Maureen said about this deck. Yes, yeah, it feels very action oriented. And the hermit is very tiny in this. Very tiny hermit. Feels Lord of the Rings-ish. And this has all of the <clears throat> astrological signs on it. Like this. Interesting. Oh, love that. Anyway, I'm not going to show this whole deck right now. We'll do a, something later. I don't know if I have... Oh, I love that star. Love that moon. I love this sun. I don't know where I've seen it a lot. I have. I'm going to have to see what I have to pair with this. And the fool is last. And it is... Fully illustrated. We're going to start with Soul Trees, Ascension. Yeah, this works. <clears throat> I like it. The purples. Yeah, this works nicely. This works really nicely. And at least my French from high school is good enough that I know the numbers. Very nice. Okay, so that's the Soul Tree's Ascension. Okay, so let's try the Wild Unknown Archetypes. I think, and I like that. And they both have white borders, so it kind of helps contain when you have so much energy and color. So this is probably one deck where I won't trim off the white borders. promise anything. But I think I won't. It's a lot of red fire. Yes, this also works. I ended up shuffling in some reversals somehow. And it does riffle shuffle okay. I just kind of want to be more careful with it because I really am afraid that it's going to take a crease fairly easily. Yes, I think this works. Those together are nice. What do you think? I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, and the last one seems maybe odd, but when I was going through the bind, it felt right. And I think maybe because it, this feels soothing. It kind of calms down the energy. 
of the Tarot Villeneuve, if I'm saying that correctly. I think I really like this. Slows it down a little bit, I feel like. Yeah, you can almost imagine her taming in this card, taming this dragon, and then riding it in the ocean. It feels like a continuation of the story. Okay. Well, okay, so that was a lot of decks in one month between me pre-ordering things and Kickstarters and rewarding myself for my interviews. So I've lost count. I will put a number down below so you will see. And I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you have any comments, please share them below. And if you enjoyed it, please remember to like and subscribe and click on the bell so you know when I have new videos. Take care of yourself. Bye.